Hi, students. Well, we're going to look at Cushing syndrome, adrenal hypersecretion. But before we can understand much about that disease, we have to consider a few points. Uh, this is an endocrine disorder, and it involves the adrenal gland. And what it'll do, it'll cause hypersecretion, hypersecretion of the adrenal gland. Okay, remember we have two adrenal glands, and um, what do they do? They secrete some hormones, glucocorticoids, mineral corticoids, and least of all, if you will, sex hormones. All right, glucocorticoids, mineral corticoids, and sex hormone. We need to understand um, what these hormones do. Now, just to tell you about the uh, gravity, just the gravity, the seriousness of this, let's put it this way, if you did not have your adrenal glands and if they weren't functioning, you could not live, all right? You could not live. So, um, it comes under control, the adrenal gland comes under control of the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland secretes a hormone called ACTH, ACTH, which is adrenal, a green, adrenal cortical adrenal corticoid stimulating hormone okay now we have to look at that in order for us to understand the disease this hormone causes the release of glucocorticoids and to a lesser extent to a lesser extent aldosterone aldosterone functions there's other areas that trigger the release of aldosterone but the pituitary gland, ACTH, ACTH just doesn't secrete itself. The body's under control. The body's under control. The hypothalamus actually is controlling it. But how it functions is this. If you have a low level, a low level of glucocorticoids, if you have a low level of glucocorticoids, ACTH is going to be secreted. If you have a high level of glucocorticoids, ACTH will not be secreted. This is negative feedback. More complicated, it's called the, uh, the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. They work in concert, they work together. But it's very important that you remember that ACTH will not be secreted if the glucocorticoids level is high. Okay? Now, let's talk about, let's talk about uh, the individual uh, hormones a little bit. First of all, um, we'll look at glucocorticoids. Glucocorticoids. Um, like I said, you would not live without it. I heard one doctor uh, in a lecture, he was saying that we make about um, maybe 20 milligrams of of cortisol, 20 milligrams. And um, sometimes during an emergency situation, we have to have uh, 200 milligrams, if you will, a day uh, to meet the challenge, okay? In other words, uh, stressful events in your life like surgery, um, maybe getting married, uh, an auto accident, a burn, your glucocorticoid demand will greatly, greatly, greatly increase. Okay, what are some of the things that uh, glucocorticoids do? And this by no means is any, um, is, is, is the complete wherewithal say it all. But anyways, uh, glucocorticoids maintain glucose levels. They maintain glucose levels. Um, they raise your, your um, blood sugar. Uh, gluconeogenesis in the liver triggered by glucocorticoids. Okay, and also glucocorticoids cause insulin to not work quite as well. Insulin resistance, okay? So you, your blood sugar um, can increase. Uh, now, pr uh, protein catabolism or protein wasting. Um, you, the uh, glucocorticoids um, destroy proteins. Um, they, so far that they destroy proteins, 
that uh, they get down to the collagen. You remember when we make the matrix and connective tissue? They hit it right there, okay? Uh, protein wasting. And then lipolysis, it, it has something to do with the breaking down of fats and releasing fatty acids and releasing fatty acids. Okay, now you've heard of the sympathetic nervous system or uh, adrenaline response. Um, that's different, but in order for that to function in part or in full, um, they cannot function. The catecholamines cannot function. What are catecholamines? Adrenaline, uh, noradrenaline, epinephrine, norepinephrine. In order for them to do their work, you have to have the uh, glucocorticoids. I, I like to think um, it sort of jump starts it. I think uh, they have a, they're, they're called a permissive effect, but um, this plays a vital role with helping you respond to stress. All right, catecholamine. Um, the glucocorticoids are anti-inflammatory. Anti you know, sometimes we treat uh, arthritis, uh, uh, interocular injections, and it reduces the inflammation, they feel better. Okay, anti-inflammatory. Now, let's go ahead and look at the mineral corticoids, at the mineral corticoids. And the best way, overall, to look at it is fluid and electrolytes. Fluid and electrolytes. Uh, it helps us uh, establish balance. Let me talk a little bit about aldosterone. You remember we mentioned that ACTH governs the adrenal gland? Uh, it, it sort of like opens up the door so that aldosterone is released, but there are other measures that control the release of aldosterone. So it's, it's not that dependent upon the pituitary gland. Now, with that in mind, when, mineral, uh, when uh, the mineral, mineral corticoid in discussion is aldosterone, I like to call him Andy Aldosterone. Why not give him a personal name, huh? You know, and the aldosterone. First of all, uh, he works. He works on the nephron, the functional unit of the kidney, and he causes the kidney to reabsorb sodium. And what follows sodium chloride, and then what follows sodium chloride, water. So when this hormone is in operation. What's happening is we're reabsorbing sodium, chloride, and also water, okay? Now, so it'll help us with our fluid status. But there's one caveat. You lose potassium, perhaps the most important electrolyte in the body. I mean, they're all important, mind you. But, you know, potassium, hmm. All right, so I, I say this about Andy Aldosterone. What does he do? Well, when Andy, when Andy Aldosterone is in town, I'm going to save salt, I'm going to save uh, chloride, and um, I'm going to maintain, maintain water, maintain, keep water. But, but I'm going to lose potassium. Okay, that's aldosterone. Here we have also sex hormones, androgens, estrogen. Uh, androgens are male hormones, and uh, they help contribute. They help contribute to secondary sex characteristics. Okay, little back. We're gonna eventually talk in another session about adrenal hypersecretion Cushing syndrome. What it is is a normal system that's gone abnormally wrong and causing excessive corticosteroid secretion. Okay, thank you.